You know, when you spend months visualizing and manifesting something you really want, and it feels like it's finally within your grasp. I had that exact feeling recently. The success I'd been working towards was right there on the horizon. I could almost reach out and grab it. The universe had aligned everything perfectly. But then, in a moment of frustration, I let three seemingly harmless words slip out of my mouth. As soon as I uttered those words, I felt everything shift. The vision I had clung to started fading before my eyes. Opportunities closed off one by one. What I had manifested was being snatched away, and it was my own careless words that caused it. I learned an important lesson that day about just how much power our words truly hold. Now I'm more vigilant than ever about speaking positivity into existence. If you want to manifest your dreams, you need to do the same. In this video, I'll share tips on harnessing the power of spoken affirmations and avoiding disastrous slip-ups like the one that temporarily derailed my success. The promotion I'd been gunning for was nearly in my grasp. After acing my interviews, all that was left was the final decision from the executive team. But as the days passed with no news, doubts started to creep in. Then, in a moment of anxiety, I uttered three dangerous words to my friend. I hope I get it. As soon as I spoke them, I felt a shift. Over the next week, things went from good to bad. The other candidates impressed the execs while I struggled. In the end, the promotion went to someone else. By saying I hope, I had seeded doubt in my mind and derailed all my progress. I learned just how much power those three simple words can have. If you want to achieve your dreams, you must master your speech. In this video, I'll explain why phrases like I hope can sabotage your success and teach you to harness affirmations to attract what you desire. Let's begin. Rather than saying, I hope I get this promotion, say with conviction, I know my proven skills and consistent contributions make me the ideal candidate for this promotion. This simple yet powerful shift from a doubtful, I hope, to an assured I know trains your subconscious mind to move from uncertainty to absolute certainty. I hope is merely wishful thinking. I know is stating a fact based on your qualifications, actions and worthiness. It builds an unshakable belief that success is inevitable. I know keeps your mind focused like a laser on all the reasons this desire is already on its way to you. Remind yourself of your talents, preparation and determination. See yourself leveraging your full potential to achieve your goals. Speak daily as if what you want is now an established reality. Do not question or downplay your abilities even for a moment. Affirm regularly why you are ready, willing and able to obtain your objectives. This seeds doubt and uncertainty. It's like placing an order from the universe and then cancelling it. Your mindset and energy shift from certainty to anxiety. You've now vibrated yourself out of alignment with your goal. The universe responds to conviction and clarity. When you know with every fiber of your being that something will happen, you magnetically draw that outcome closer through your unwavering faith. Monitor your self-talk diligently. When you catch yourself saying, I hope, immediately shift to an empowering I know statement. Program your subconscious mind for success by speaking the bold language of confidence, certainty and trust. Manifestation requires first believing before seeing. Therefore, whatever your desire, boldly claim it as already yours. State it not as a wish, but as a fact. Say, I know with pride and certainty until your success materializes. Now, moving on to the next word. This is another most used word. Saying the phrase, I can't. This farce severely limits your potential by definitively reinforcing the belief that something is impossible or beyond your capabilities. Your subconscious mind accepts this statement as fact and will strive to prove you right by creating roadblocks. When you declare I can't, you are essentially slamming the brakes on your own progress. 
obstacles arise, motivation plummets, and you find yourself stuck in resignation. This severely disempowering phrase must be eliminated from your vocabulary if you wish to manifest your goals. Instead, reframe the statement to I can. For example, I can't get a promotion becomes I can develop my skills and contributions to earn a promotion. This simple change stimulates creative thinking on how to tackle challenges and unlocks your problem-solving potential. It programs your mind to see possibilities rather than limitations. I can also emphasizes your inner resources, willpower and support systems to accomplish any desire. It builds confidence, momentum and expands your perspective on what you can achieve. Monitor your self-talk diligently. When you catch yourself saying, I can't, immediately shift to, I can. Speak words that open up your sense of potential rather than cut it off. Remind yourself often that with self-belief, anything is possible. The only limits on your dreams are those you construct through I can't statements. Eliminate this phrase completely. Replace it with empowering, I can affirmations that open you to unlimited possibility. You are capable of anything you set your mind to. Let me share you some examples of successful people who overcame their self-doubts and achieved their goals by saying I can. For instance, Oprah Winfrey was fired from her first TV job as an anchor in Baltimore, but she didn't let that stop her from pursuing her passion for media. She went on to become one of the most influential and wealthy women in the world by hosting her own talk show, launching her own network, and producing various films and books. Albert Einstein was considered a slow learner and a poor student by his teachers, but he didn't let that discourage him from exploring his curiosity for science. He went on to develop the theory of relativity, win the Nobel Prize in physics, and become one of the most renowned physicists of all time. J.K. Rowling was a single mother living on welfare when she started writing the Harry Potter series, but she didn't let that deter her from following her dream of becoming a writer. She went on to publish one of the most successful and beloved book franchises in history, selling over 500 million copies worldwide and inspiring millions of readers. These are just some examples of how saying, I can can transform your life and help you achieve anything you desire. Remember, the phrase I can't is a self-imposed limitation that only holds you back from reaching your full potential. By replacing it with I can, you empower yourself to take action, overcome obstacles and create positive outcomes. You have the power to shape your own destiny by choosing the words you speak to yourself. Now finally, third word, I need. Saying I need implies you lack something essential. While expressing vulnerability can be healthy, overusing I need phrases can develop a scarcity mindset. When you constantly say, I need more money or I need a new job, your subconscious starts to believe you are helpless without external things. This can breed anxiety, desperation and poor decisions. Instead, Reframe the statement from I need to I am. For example, I need more money becomes I am open and willing to receive abundant income. This shift stimulates an abundance mindset. Rather than lack, you are affirming that you already are what you desire. This magnetizes opportunities faster. I am statements should affirm present tense positive attributes. I am patient. I am at peace. I am worthy. Avoid future tense or negativity. Monitor your self-talk. When you catch yourself saying, I need, reframe it to a present tense I am phrase. This builds confidence, empowers action, and attracts your desires through purposeful creation rather than neediness. We learned how saying, I can, can transform your life by opening you to unlimited possibilities and overcoming self-imposed limitations. Now, we will learn how saying I am can also change your reality by creating an abundance mindset and attracting what you desire. Saying I am is a powerful way to affirm your identity and align yourself with your goals. When you say I am, 
you are declaring to yourself and the universe who you are and what you want. You are activating the law of attraction, which states that like attracts like. The law of attraction is based on the principle that everything is energy and has a certain vibration. When you say I am, you are emitting a vibration that matches your statement. The universe responds by sending back more of the same vibration to you. For example, when you say, I am open and willing to receive abundant income, you are vibrating at the frequency of abundance and wealth. The universe will then send you more opportunities, resources and ideas to increase your income. However, when you say, I need more money, you are vibrating at the frequency of lack and scarcity. The universe will then send you more situations, challenges and problems that make you feel needy and poor. Therefore, it is important to be mindful of what you say after I am. Make sure it is something positive, present tense and aligned with your goals. Avoid saying anything negative, future tense or contradictory to your desires. By saying I am, you are creating your own reality with your words. You are telling yourself and the universe who you are and what you want. You are attracting more of what you affirm into your life. Wayne Dyer said, I am is the name of God. I am is the name of the infinite, all-powerful and all-knowing reality. And because I am is your true identity, you have the power to create your reality with your words. The words we use hold tremendous power. Careless negative phrases can sabotage our success, while purposeful positive speech attracts what we desire. Avoid disempowering words like I hope, I can't, and I need. Instead, use language that builds belief in yourself and what you wish to manifest. Replace I hope with I know. Trade I can't for I can. Reframe I need as I am. Monitor your self-talk diligently. Catch any hidden negatives holding you back. Turn them into positives that propel you forward. Master your inner speech and you master your outer world. Harness affirmations to reshape your mindset and attract your goals into reality. I hope this video shed light on choosing empowering words to manifest your dreams. Take control of your speech and take charge of your destiny. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.